So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on any service one time and then click on V on your keyboard. Now you want to find a service called VGC. I don't have it on my computer, but in your case, you're gonna be having a service called VGC. Once you find VGC, you're gonna double click on it. You want to make the startup type automatic and then click on start, which will now make the service status running and then click on okay. Make sure they have the VGC service on automatic and running. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in view network connections. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna find your network adapter, you're gonna double click on it. And then click on properties. And then click on internet protocol version four. And then once you're on this, make sure you have obtainer IP address automatically selected. Now you're gonna select use the phone DNS server address. You're gonna make the first line 8888 and you're gonna make the second line 8844 and then click on OK. For the next step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in CMD. Now you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. Now you're gonna type in NETSH space windsock space reset. Click on enter again. And now for the last step, you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.